thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be reviewing the book Benedict the Sixteenth, Defender of the Faith by Joseph Pierce. So here's what the book looks like. Oh, there we go. It's a hardcover, which I always prefer in my library. So this book would qualify as like a short biography. It's only 167 pages. So as you might imagine, this book is about Pope Benedict XVI or Josef Ratzinger. Now, Josef Ratzinger was born April 16th, 1927, and his victory was complete December 31st, 2022. He was a theologian, a biblical scholar. He became a cardinal, was, a, was the prefect for the doctrine of the faith, and ultimately became Pope. Now, me personally, I think he's going to be remembered as one of the greatest theologians of the past hundred years. That's just personal opinion. However, I have heard many theologians and biblical scholars parrot that same thing, or I, I should actually say, I am parroting what they are saying. I also pray that he uh, is made a doctor of the church one day. I feel a special bond to Josef Ratzinger because my family is of German descent and he was our German Pope. Okay, so an overview of this book. This touches on more of the historical side of Pope Benedict XVI and less, but not excluding the theology, just more on the historical side. So some of the chapters range from what his childhood was like in Nazi-occupied Germany, his relationship with his brother, whom I'm not sure if you're familiar, was also a priest, getting to assist in the Second Vatican Council, his thoughts on the liturgy, the spirit of the Second Vatican Council, and uh, various excerpts from some of his encyclicals. So my thoughts on this book were I absolutely loved it. It was short, it was easy to read, and it left me wanting more. It got me excited about the person of Pope Benedict XVI. I also liked it because it was cool seeing more of the personal side of Pope Benedict XVI versus just strictly his theology. It was interesting to read what he originally wanted out of the priesthood, like where he thought his career path was in the priesthood versus what actually happened. I liked his take on modern problems and how applicable they are even to this day now. Who doesn't love a book with sweet pictures, right? But like, here's, here's some of them. Look at that. Look at the strength in that picture. That's what I'm talking about. I wanted to read one of the citations from this book that is just a real gem. Quote, Today, having a clear faith based on the creed of the church is often labeled as fundamentalism, whereas relativism, that is, letting oneself be tossed here and there, carried about by every wind of doctrine, seems the only attitude that can cope with modern times. We are building a dictatorship of relativism that does not recognize anything as definitive and whose ultimate goal consists solely of one's own eager, excuse me, ego and desires. That's awesome. So if you're interested in getting to know the personal side of Pope Benedict XVI, I would definitely recommend this book. If you're German, I would recommend this book. If you're a German American, I would recommend this book. If you want to read a book about someone who just loves our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and his church, I think you'll enjoy this book. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you next time. God bless you.